What it do? What the business is? About my money TV is your boy. TV. Oh, my money TV. Money. Go subscribe to this channel right now. Like this channel that you own. About my money TV is your boy King Chaos Man. And we back. About my money TV. It's your boy King Chaos Man. We back in the building, man. About my money TV. About my money TV. That's right. About my money TV, King Chaos. We out here in the Money TV. Y'all need to fuck with my man, bro. Cause if y'all don't fuck with him, then I don't fuck with y'all. Hey. hey, little nigga, talk to you for a real quick. Hey, let me talk to him, nigga. Hey, hey let me talk to him. Let me yeah. About my money TV. It's your boy King Chaos Man. We back, man. Welcome back to the channel. We in a different setup, man. We still got the backdrop, man. But you know the office, man, is multi-purpose. Your boy King Chaos got eight kids, man, and it's a revolving door. My kids can always come home to pops, man. So the office is under use from the shorties today, man. So we're gonna be knocking out a lot of a lot of stuff in my other little in my other room. I guess so, you know. I'm like clips, man. Guess what's room I'm in? You feel me? So we busting it in another room in the house, man. But we gonna we gonna talk about some battle rap. Y'all know how we are, man. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Watch out for the heat, man. Please, man, do me a favor right now, man. Smash that like button, man. Hit the subscribe. When you hit the subscribe, man, hit all post notifications, man. So you see when my videos come. Even if you just pop in, hit the like and pop out, man. Support your support your boy King Chaos, man. We're gonna be bringing you that Midwest battle rap, um, from the old Midwest movement to the new Midwest movement with my guy, um, uh, proper context media, and I probably have it pop up on the screen somewhere. You know, so so y'all can go to my guy channel. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do it. I, I know I'm going to do a, a segment on my channel. We probably split it up so he can get some of the content on his channel, man. I want y'all to bounce back and forth. Man. I'm going to get into it uh, with my guy on proper context, probably a little bit deeper because, of course, we're going to have to talk JC when we talk the Midwest. Um, but it's been uh, back and forth. And if y'all you know if y'all get in and y'all figure it out man i'm a big bill collector fan I, uh you get on my twitter you'll see that i, I promote what bill collector is doing with uh with his battle league with Zash tv um what he's doing with the show i i've been a big uh bill collector fan and supporter since the hitman days listen man again i'm so midwest I was invested in the time when Hitman and Bill Collector was going back and forth. And Bill gained my respect when, when they did that battle on RVE and they had that closure battle, man. So I've, I've been a big Bill Collector fan. And to see his evolution and to see where he's at now, I don't think people give Bill the proper flyers. Yes, he, you know, won a $100,000 tournament. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more because the tournament um, was over a larger period of time and um, they had the whole season and they had the playoffs. So people are looking at what JC did and looking at what Bill did and comparing the two. So we're going to get into that. All right. JC and Bill Collector, man. Let's get into it, man. Let's start with Bill Collector because... I heard the arguments. I've been hearing the arguments from both sides, the people on, on the JC side, the people on the Bill Collector side. First and foremost, I want to say this is definitely a battle I want to see, man. This is the 100K King battle right here. I mean, of course you got Rum and Geechee who both respectively took a 100K tournament and split it. It was 150, so they got 75 apiece. So that that's basically the same as a 100K tournament winner. But these guys are all EFB, man, which is crazy. If you think about the tournament wins, EFB has been a big part of every UM tournament. Um, so you only really have these two to speak about in that who we want to see against each other. I understand where bill is coming from i think we kind of forget what bill's record is on url bill went through a tournament he he already prospectively won a um tournament yes 
Holmesy is credited with the win, but him and Holmesy are loud boys, and everybody knows that they split the money. They probably wrote together. They they probably talked about, listen, it's me and you in the end of this tournament. We can just go out here and try to get them the best for their buck, but who cares who wins? We're going to split the money down the half. Then he goes to KOTD and wins seven battles, I believe. I, th I think the UM tournament ends up being four battles, I think, uh, with the season. Um, Bill did about seven battles in order to win his 100,000. So, arguably, Bill hasn't lost a battle since the Big T battle on URL, um, which, you know, it is what it is. That was probably the last battle. Also, Big T won uh, conversely, and that's crazy. Um, so, once it was announced that JC won, and that's the reason why we talk about Bill first is because, you know, we were in the spaces. The talk was, hey, Bill, would you take JC now that, that he just won the 100K too? And Bill was like, he was down with it. He think he's the tournament king. And uh, JC would be the guy he, that he would like to match after because I think the, gratitude, the, the gravity of the tournament that with Rum and Geechee and, and, you know, JC, and, you know, just all the names, Swamp and just the names that was in that battle, if those two battled, then it really would show who's the king of the 100K tournament because Geechee and Rum got put out of that 100K tournament. So them winning their 100K tournament, that kind of nullifies that. So Bill was like, i take JC. So they had the back and forth. And y'all know how I do. Um, shout out to LTB, uh, TBR and uh, <laughs> the Battle Rap Road over there. Um I got, I'm going to show y'all some tweets, some some of the back and forth, some of the things that uh, Bill said, you know, some of the stuff that um, JC said about the tournaments. You know, the argument was that, um, you know, Bill was like, listen, I, I ran through a tournament already. I, 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 I won the UM tournament. Then I went over to KLTD and I won their tournament also. So, you know, I, I've done what you've done plus, you know what I'm saying? So, that's Bill's argument, and I think that's a valid argument. Anyway, neither one of us walked straight to the finals, but mine had to be done in less than two months. The UM tournament is way more difficult to prepare for and execute. Let's stop fucking acting like I ain't do that too. What's wrong with y'all? I ain't just run through a URL tournament too. Oh, but Holmesy won. Yeah, he won, bro. We didn't give a fuck about it. We both won. Dummies. I'm cool. I'm second off, we each had four battles. Wrong! I had seven battles. My road started May 29th and ended July 9th, so the difficulty ain't even close. Yeah, you're right. Let's also not act like Mac Myron's decision wasn't controversial. Let's not act like you ain't lose the sheet. If you look at what Bill has been able to do, uh, I think it was a stack all uh, stacks almighty battle or uh, I don't I think it's I think that's what his name was. And then the stacks almighty battle is when Bill got that first 150 and Bill I I literally watched that battle and said to myself Bill is in a different bag. Like Bill is he's elevated he's always been complex he's always been witty he's always been funny in battles but he elevated to where each each eight bar stanza was almost literally a triple entendre a double in the middle and i mean it was cr it, just the way that he has been writing has been on a, a definite upward incline i mean i i, I watched I, I seen from that battle I've seen him go forward, and some people say it was the battles before that. For me personally, I, like I said, I've always been a Bill fan, but I just felt like from that battle, he was consistently raising his pen. Um, you know, the talk of the Mac Myron battle. To me, that was the finals. I, I, you know, I'm a Midwest representer. I, I'm not afraid to say it. I, I, I figured that whoever won in that battle between Mac Myron because what Mac Myron was doing in his bracket was equally crazy 
that whoever won that battle was going to be the KOTD $100,000, you know, season one champion to me. And that's how it came out. Um, you know, salute the pass. I think he had a great battle, but I just think the way in which um, I think a lot of people get it misconstrued. And yes, it is a tournament. Yes, it is a, a, a decision by decision, you know, instance and in why they pick each battler. But I think over the time period in which uh, Bill was in the KLTD season, he deserved to win $100,000. If you think he won or lost whatever battle you think he won or lost, the judges picked Bill. He won the money, and I think that he performed up to the standard of winning that money in the Mac Myron battle as well as in the past battle. I don't think there's a, uh, you know, that, that should be an argument against that. The judges pick Bill. However y'all feel at home, it is what it is. But it, if you listen, if you go back and watch or listen to those battles, Bill was rapping his ass off through the whole thing. I mean, you cannot take away from what Bill has been able to do. So I understand, you know, a lot of what, what Bill's argument is there. Now, conversely, let's talk about JC. He won 100K too. Bill Collector. He, he reached the bill collector too. Yeah, salute yeah. the bill. I seen on Twitter he put he 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 would fake he like he called you out. That yeah, that see. would be that would be interesting. After this next tournament I do, you know, after I run run across the mountains with my with my you know cleats on, <laughs> um, then I, I, I we could definitely do a tournament match. That'll be fire. That would be dope. If we talk about JC. He had four battles in a in a tournament. Before then, he was I want to say ten and zero, uh, or eleven and zero before the ten and zero before the Sharon battle, eleven and zero on the on the app after the Sharon battle, and then the four battles in the tournament. So that puts him at a uh, and. Again, this stuff will be popping up on the screen. That puts him at it is basically a fifteen and zero run. Now, I'm not. I'm talking about these runs because I talked about the KOTD season with Bill, and the whole season wasn't this year. Part of part of the season was last year. So we are not talking about champion run. We're not talking about you know what's the criteria to being a champion this year. We're talking about the criteria, these two getting together, how epic this battle would be. So to me, we also have to consider those things. He has been, JC has been on just as crazy, if not a crazier run, depending on which side you on. My argument is I understand where Bill is coming from. No, no matter if uh, you feel like the, the um tournament held more weight because it was in a shorter period uh period of time bill has done that bill also won a hundred thousand with the kotd tournament so if you look at the 15 and you know, oh um on the on the on the url app and you look at what bill has been able to do on kotd those two kind of look like they to me you know they balance each other out. What he did in the tournament by basically winning and splitting it, Bill. What he did in uh, the KOTD tournament, basically decimating all competition. I think he was almost – he almost had a perfect score in, in, in the season. Like, that is remarkable. Not to mention what he's doing in battle rap with his league and his Zash TV deals. Like, those things, to me, I think we skip over – about my money TV, I'm about my money. It's business, music, and music management to me is BMM. So I always like to talk about what the artists are doing for the game, outside of the game, what they're doing in their business. Salute to JC, what he's doing with his, uh, with his channel on YouTube. I think it's dope to see these guys outside of their comfort zone doing things to bring in light on other art uh, artists. So the JC and Bill Collector thing is so, you know, so dope and i really want to see this battle now at the end of these conversations I, you know we i've talked about why i feel like you know him and jc have are, are a great battle um we've seen some clips of the back and forth with the two um i also see what jc mindset is 
the road to the UN finals is a lot more difficult. It's a lot more challenging. It's a lot more demanding. And it's because it's in a lot shorter time. So you have to really get on top of your game. It's just a different, just a different atmosphere. You know, so, um, yeah. Um, do I think it's a good reason we should battle? That the battle interests me? It's a cool battle. I do think it's a cool battle. Um, I do think that I'm not coming out until... <laughs> I'm not coming out to you know, so... As far as what my next joints is, we know what that is. We know what that is. So I'm not saying it's not going to happen or that it can't happen. I'm just saying in order it for it to happen, it has to be the latter. Those everybody knows what's was was what JC needs to happen, and you know time. But right now, what's bigger than that? So now it looks like you're running. You know. Don't come outside. I'm not coming out. That's the point. That's the point of what I'm saying about the bridge. Um, John, it's like, not the bridge, the build joint. It's like, I, I, you know, I'm down, but I really don't see it happening before those. Nothing's happening before those. I have burials to attend. I have burials to attend. His mindset is he wants either loaded lux or sue serve he said i i, I won a hundred thousand dollar tournament I, I i've done things in the past that has allowed those guys to duck under this smoke and i'm not doing nothing that's gonna allow them to say nah you lost or you did this now we not taking a battle his mindset is i'm gonna sit back in these guys front yard i'm a campaign i'm gonna get on my youtube channel i'm gonna do inter i'm gonna do whatever it takes for these guys not to be able to duck me. And then after that, I would be happy to take the bill battle. So at the end of the day, is what's y'all take on this situation, man? Do you want to see the king of the 100K uh, tournament go up against each other? Do you want to see JC versus Bill Collector on one of these URL cards? I think it's a summer madness battle. I think it's a battle that can be on the biggest card anywhere. I think these guys are, are, are both big enough stars to facilitate a card. Whatever it may be, this is a battle I think that we got to have. Let me know in our comments what y'all think about this whole situation, man. Bill Collector versus JC, the king of the 100K tournament. For the bag, for the belt, whatever it is, let's see it. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um I guess this gonna conclude uh Tuesday show. Um hit the like man, hit the subscribe. We got the um we got the battle in the bayou on URL coming up this weekend. We got so much battle rap coming up this weekend. Thursday show. I'm gonna probably do my predictions for the battle uh bayou. I might drop it tomorrow on Wednesday. I've been trying to make sure that I'm that I'm here, I'm consistent, I'm giving y'all more content. Um don't forget Proper Context Media, along with About My Money TV, the Midwest Movement, it is coming soon. I want to keep um, advertisement drilling into y'all head. Go subscribe to my guy. Make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure y'all check it out. It's going to be dope. We want to bring y'all the biggest and best in the Midwest. I want to bring y'all everybody in battle rap, but I got to shine that little extra spotlight on my region, all right? Salute to everybody in the good guy gang. Salute to everybody in the money gang. Y'all know, y'all my guys, the notification gang. Go to bmlmerch.com, code money gang. Get 20% off, man, because you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody for dropping through. Salute to y'all. Come back and see me. If you got your notifications on, probably going to pop up on a, on a Thursday show. We definitely will be here Thursday. I don't know if I want to do... Um, the battle to buy you tomorrow or Thursday, but once some notifications are on, you'll definitely see it first. I appreciate y'all, and we out. Okay, it's about my money TV, man. Support black businesses, man. Money TV, y'all need to fuck with my man, bro. Cause if y'all don't fuck with him, then I don't fuck with y'all, nigga. Man, it's all about being me on pressure game right now, man. If you ain't, if you ain't with us, you just in the way. And uh, right now, man, if you standing on the other side of me, you on the wrong side of God's wheel. You hear? I made the beat. I'm gonna pull up in that right phone. Pull up, yeah.